Seven Little Tricks to Speak in Public with No Fear When Yaro Starak, a blogger and podcaster, got an invitation for his first stage presentation at a coaching program organized by his friends, he was just as bothered as the little Yaro, who had embarrassed himself in front of the entire school because he couldn't get himself calm enough to give a hitch-free presentation. Even though he had been blogging and recording podcasts for a while, according to him, he still found this style of talk daunting. Stark grew up as a very shy kid who would stand behind his mom's leg whenever he met anyone new. He didn't like to talk to people in groups or go up to strangers at events or parties because he didn't like being the focus of attention. This affected him and was negatively impacted by social phobia. All through his high school and university days, public speaking was one of the things he did well to avoid as much as he could. However, at this point in his career, doors began to open for him, and it was time to say yes to the great opportunities. It was time for him to face his fear of public speaking. It was at this point, Starak discovered what he needed to do to overcome his fear. In this video, I'll share with you 7 little tricks to speak in public with no fear. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Know your subject matter The one thing that made Starak confident enough during the presentation this time around was that he understood the subject of his presentation very well. According to him, I knew my subject well because I cared about it. When you are familiar with the subject matter, you'll be confident in your ability to deliver because you know the information that you are giving out is valuable. David Greenberg, author of Simply Speaking, The No Sweat Way to Prepare and Deliver Presentations, said and I quote, Become an authority on your topic and know more than most or all of the people in your audience. The more you know, the more confident you will be. Two. Do not memorize your presentation. It is true that we only have a few seconds to capture our audience. However, memorizing your presentation in a bid to have the best speech ever will only end up doing otherwise. No one likes a staged presentation. Yes, you should memorize the points and focus on your presentation, but you don't need to memorize the entire presentation word for word. Otherwise, instead of focusing on delivering a presentation that will be perfectly understood by your audience, you'll find yourself trying so hard not to forget your next line. 3. Don't try to be perfect. Think of some of the best public speakers you know. You like how they talk and how they do their presentations, right? Well, don't fall in the trap of trying to sound exactly like them or trying to be flawless in your speech because no one is perfect and even your audience understands that. Alison Shapira, founder and CEO of Global Public Speaking said, people will invest in you because of your energy, confidence and enthusiasm, not because of your slides. Make you and your business the focus of your presentation instead of spending hours on the perfect pitch deck. Do you know what? Instead of trying to be perfect, just be yourself. According to Mohammed Morad, past international president of Toastmasters International, a non-profit organization that helps members improve their public speaking skills, speaking is not acting. People usually sense the personality and it becomes apparent that the speaker is acting by trying to be someone else. There is no harm in researching other speakers' styles, but a speaker needs to develop a style distinct to their personality. Never imitate styles. Don't put your entire focus on trying to achieve the perfect presentation ever that you forget to pay attention to your audience. Whether they are interested in your presentation or whether they look bored and want to be excused from the room. Also, when you try to sound too perfect, people get bored. On the other hand, when you sound like yourself, your audience becomes enthusiastic. They want to listen to you more and enjoy every bit of the presentation. Gary Schmidt past international president of Toastmasters International said, if you're passionate about your topic and you're excited to present to others, it will be infectious. If you were having fun as a speaker, your audience will have fun observing your speech. 4. Practice Public speaking isn't an innate gift or a talent. It is a skill that can be learned. So to become a good public speaker, 
You have to learn it and keep practicing. Alison Shapira said, Don't assume you need to be born a natural speaker. Recognize that it is a learnable and vital skill for promoting your business to investors, customers, and partners. Put aside time to practice and get feedback from colleagues and friends. When you practice often, certain neurological changes take place. For instance, according to Smith Waith, the author of The Essentials of Persuasive Public Speaking, rehearsal transfers your words and ideas from the cerebral cortex, which is responsible for higher order conscious thoughts, to your cerebellum, which orchestrates the lightning fast motor action needed to perform complex actions, like speaking to crowds, teaching with your fingers to play a new piece of music, or learning your lines for a play. So, start practicing. 5. Engage your audience. Audience involvement is key. Ask them questions or have them participate in an activity or two to capture and hold their attention. When your audience is involved in your speech, it'll make it more of a dialogue than a monologue, and this in itself will make you more confident to speak more. 6. Visualize your success. David Greenberg said, Picture your successful presentations in detail and allow your mind to help turn your picture into a reality. When you allow yourself to visualize your success, it becomes easy for you to take up that role and also work more towards the success of your presentation. The more that you prepare for it, the more you are informed, and when you are well informed, you'll be confident enough to make an excellent presentation. 7. Don't overthink it. Now that you are prepared, you've rehearsed a lot, familiarized yourself with the subject, visualized your success and the likes, how about taking a break from thinking about your upcoming presentation? Try not to overthink it, because when you do, you make yourself nervous, and if you aren't so good at calming yourself down, you might end up making a mess of the entire presentation. So, prepare for your presentation, but don't get worried about it by overthinking your abilities. Thank you so much for watching our videos. If you like this channel, we're happy to announce to you that our team has launched three other interesting channels. One of our new channels is called Hunt TV, where we publish inspirational videos to inspire and encourage you as you go through the harsh journey of life. Our second channel is called Fame TV, where we share with you the interesting and inspiring stories and biographies of the successful people who have achieved greatness with their lives. Our third channel is called Money TV, which is a channel designed to use more dramatic video clips to teach you about money. Look at the description box to join our three new channels. We love you.